The following is an Exit Mundi article. If you've been watching the Deep Web series, a long time ago I mentioned that these articles detailed many scenarios on how our world would end. This following scenario is one such scenario which involves us turning into a giant collective ball of intelligence, immortal human beings, and how we end up killing ourselves. Again, if some of the following events may be a little too heavy, or the subject matter in question is a little heavy, you might want to turn the video off, but that being said, this is our very first Exit Monday article. And with that being said, let's dive right in. Now here's something different. What if we all killed ourselves in the end? We agree. After all we've been through, it would be a ridiculous way to go. But suicide could be the inevitable, perfectly logical outcome of evolution. Mass suicide. Oh, come on. What on earth could we do that for? Well, because somewhere in the distant future we would reach the conclusion that it's the best thing to do. The only thing that makes sense. We would decide to kill ourselves and do it. We wouldn't even leave a suicide note after all. Who's going to be here to read it? Of course, it's not going to happen tomorrow. First, a lot of dramatic changes have to take place. Right now, we're not too keen on dying. In fact, believe it or not, we hate it. Luckily, that will change over time. Slowly, we will defy death. We'll beat disease after disease and live longer and longer. We'll fool the Grim Reaper with anti-aging chemicals and fantastic, amazing new cures. And in the end, we'll beat Mr. Death. We'll need technology to do it. In the long run, we'll replace our entire bodies by technology. Already, we replace our teeth and the occasional limb that has gone missing with artificial stuff. In the near future, scientists expect to invent replacements for our organs. A little later, we'll be able to replace our brain by computer technology. Really, already some future researchers expect that by the year 2050, we'll be able to upload our mind into a computer. We will in effect become machines, and by that, immortal. Trust us, it's gonna be fun. When our minds have become pieces of software, we'll be able to copy ourselves. We'll be able to upload ourselves into whatever we like. We'll be able to go into space in the shape of a conscious spaceship. Or in the form of a purple cloud of thinking smoke particles. No, seriously. Respected scientists like Freeman Dyson and Carl Sagan already wrote it in the 1970s. And we'll interact with each other. Big time. With our biological bodies gone, we no longer need... MSN, Hervey's, MySpace, Facebook, whatever to get in touch with each other. Rather, our minds will start to blend, actually. We'll become one giant consciousness. Some researchers in the field have labeled this as the singularity. Okay, that sounds incredibly vague, but hey, it's no reason to kill ourselves. There's just one crucial detail. Once we're immortal, we'll be incredibly, unfathomably bored. To us simple mortal humans, this may be a little bit hard to grasp, but say once we've reached perfection and singularity and oneness and all that crap, we'll have no goal in life. Yeah, we'll go out and discover the universe, but after a while, we're gonna see it all. The universe is finite, after all. With our mortal bodies gone, we'll have all the time in the universe, and we'll know every corner and say, eh. So there you have it. In the end, you become a godlike space purple cloud, or something rather similar, but only to find it really, really depressing. And in fact, it's even worse. Once we become machines, our processing speed will increase hugely. Simply put, we're going to think fast. Within a split second, we'll realize that our existence literally has become useless, and a split second after that, we'll realize it's best if we didn't exist. Now to a purple god cloud or whatever, tossing away a scrap of paper as logical as getting off a train that has reached its final destination, and the final destination is that we have reached that end point of evolution. Even harder to comprehend though is the god cloud won't have any special feelings attributed to it. When we think of suicide, we immediately think of terrible, terrible things such as dropping off of high buildings or jumping in front of speeding trains or shotguns to the face, but to a purple cloud, it's an entirely different matter. See, a cloud wouldn't really feel pain. <laughs> then it wouldn't really have a reason to feel fear. Least of all of death. I mean, you're bored, right? If you're immortal, dying might seem like a fun thing to do. 
Just like to us, it is a challenge not to die. Think about it. So there we go. After a long period of contemplation, say, a whole millisecond, if we're a little slow, that is, we'll realize that we have become useless. Right there on the spot, we will kill ourselves. And hey, you're doing it again. You picture a weeping purple cloud throwing itself in front of a speeding train, but it won't be like that. Rather, we'll terminate ourselves in a way yet beyond our imagination. We'll step out of the universe, fold ourselves up, switch ourselves off, something like that. In a split second after we've reached immortality and oneness and all that, we'll be gone. Click. Exit. So is that it? Is suicide the only inevitable outcome of evolution? Well, actually, there are. there is another way out. But it's so strange and so disturbing that it's going to blow your mind. Therefore, we really urge you, if you're mentally unstable or have a psychiatric history, don't read any further. It's at your own risk. For what else is there to do if you're a superhuman that is super bored? What do you do when you're bored? Indeed, you distract yourself. You play a video game or watch television or do whatever. Now exactly this is what a superhuman intelligence may do, but of course it will do so in a superhuman way. It will create a new universe, break down its intelligence, and seed it with the spores of its presence. Basically, such a game will be a universe that is destined to bring forth life and intelligence. Now wait a minute, isn't that exactly the kind of universe we're living in? As we outlined somewhere else, it is. Scientists have noticed for long that our universe has unmistakable clues that it is artificial. Everything around us, everything you do or see or feel or experience may in fact be fake. Who knows, we may be part of a kind of Sims game, an illusion set up by some kind of superhuman intelligence long before the universe even began. Well, at least it would be a weird choice if we reach superhumanity again. We'll ask ourselves what's it going to be. Another game of universe, or should we go to bed now and kill ourselves? There's two dates in particular we like to state, November 18, 1978 in Jonestown, Guyana. 913 followers of the sect leader Jim Jones of the People's Temple committed suicide by drinking fruit punch with cyanide. Among them are 276 children. March 17, 2000 in Uganda, more than 300 followers of the cult, Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God, killed themselves. But, kind of leads to another story. But until then, who knows what'll happen when we reach that level of singularity. Maybe we might end up offing ourselves, or maybe it might just be another game of universe. Alright, and that was one of the Exit Monday articles, one of the many. The cool thing about these is that they're literally creepypastas, but potentially true. They're the campfire stories that <laughs> may eventually happen one day. Now, of course, this one won't happen till a hundred thousand years from now, so don't worry, we'll be dead by the time it happens, we won't really be there, but how realistic could this scenario be? Now, we have to look at it from a chronological order. It's not that these uh, concepts haven't been thought about before, they've played a role in many science fiction, you know, uh, stories, but scientist Aubrey de Grey from Britain has claimed to develop a roadmap to defeat biological aging, going as far as to say the first humans that are in the program, what he dubs the what is dubbed actually the 2045 initiative will live for a thousand years. They're going to be uploaded to the cloud, to robots, to whatever kind of system to basically take the consciousness of a human being and just upload it into the computers that are available by that time. Now, while it's got a long time to come, 2045 is a while away, how feasible is it can be questioned, but again, we do have to wait till 2045. Computers advance far, far, far too fast, so Thinking about computers in 2040, 2035 even, are going to be far, far more stronger than the systems we have nowadays. Now say this occurs, then we're in the cloud. Our consciousness is put into robots, we're uploaded to this giant server, so to speak. We won't get immortality, since we would still be dead. The only thing carrying our legacy is our uploaded conscious. So say humanity of completely drops its biological form, we become computers. From that point on, let's say that version of humanity keeps reproducing, simply creating new consciousness from one another. All, all they gotta do is just take two consciousness, maybe take half of one, half of one, recode it together. We'll figure it out by then. <laughs> a hundred thousand years from now, if humanity is on that step, we'll find a way to evolve and make that completely what it. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. 
It'll eventually become one giant consciousness, since again, we're all connected to one another. We're all talking to each other, you know, even nowadays, through the use of Facebook, Twitter, we're still connected to people on a constant basis, but now, literally, we are fused as one. We won't be individuals, we won't think as one, we'll think together. And that means we will actually process faster. Think of it like how computers work together. For example, in the post-production field, when you're rendering, you can have something called network renders, where you use multiple nodes to say, 10 computers working together to finish a process. So it's like taking 10 human beings and using all of their combined intelligence rather than using one, and that is very plausible. Eventually, we could make a Sims-type simulation of humanity as a whole again, therefore redoing the cycle over and over and over again. Eventually, it could play out exactly how this article states. And that is ultimately a pretty scary thought, to think that we will completely shift from having full bodies to touching and feeling all the stuff in our world to being one giant gas cloud of extreme intelligence. And killing ourselves may be the one option. I mean, after all, once we've seen everything without any kind of fear of death, who knows, in a millisecond we might as well switch ourselves off. We'll think that fast, that strong to the point where that just becomes the most viable of options. But it's gonna take a long, long time before we even get to that stage. And I'm pretty sure we'll end up destroying our world and destroying each other long before we can have the option of committing a giant global suicide of our entire species as a whole, a digital version of our species. But ultimately that is all I can really say about this article. I'm not exactly the expert on how humans think, but using some computer intelligence, we can kind of model this in a very realistic fashion. Ultimately, what is detailed here could be the way of the future. But don't worry, sit down, play some video games, watch TV, do something, play video games, because some ordinary games, come on, let, let, let's, let's just sit back and relax, because we're not going to be alive till this happens. We're going to be long gone by the year 100,000 AD, and by some, some, some reason that humans at that time are watching this video through some form of archives, I guess you guys are kind of fucked, but, eh. If it plays out like this article states, then I'm sure you all will be much more smarter than I or anybody else on this planet could be, and you can make the decision for yourselves. But for us here in 2016, sorry, the current year, gotta be political correct, that's the rage nowadays, right? It's gonna trigger a lot of people. We can sit back, relax, knowing that we'll be long gone before this decision will ever have to happen. That being said, this has been an Exit Monday article. If you want to see a little bit more of these, if you want to see some, some of the more, uh... Uh, interesting articles, more interesting than this, let me know in the comments below. I figured this would be a nice little change from the usual gaming creepypasta or the ritual creepypasta. Sort of look at the end of the world in a not-so-bleak light, but in more interesting science fiction-y light. Ultimately, this is me, Mudahar. This has been part of Creepypastas. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to talk about this article, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I am out.